Hello Blender friends and welcome to Super 3 Boys second Blender tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to go over Blender's basic object or meshes. If you're not up to date on Blender news, Blender 2.5 Alpha 1 has been released. So if you're still using uh, Alpha 0, you should probably head over to blender.org and upgrade. It has uh, bug fixes and a few new features, so you should uh, go ahead and check that out. Like always, there's a link to that in the video description. So let's go ahead and get started on our tutorial. Now, whenever you open Blender, you have uh, that familiar default cube. In the last tutorial, if you remember, uh, we made a man uh, out of these cubes, a little uh, Blender 3D man. Um, but there's uh, many more objects uh, that we have uh, in Blender right off the bat that we can uh, create stuff with, not just cubes. Now, if you're familiar with uh, Blender in a previous version, Blender 2.49b and below, we're using Blender 2.5 uh, at the moment, uh, you would hit the spacebar to add these uh, different objects. If we hit the spacebar now, uh, we get a search menu uh, where we can search the different actions that we can do. Uh, that's really not going to help us uh, that much for what we want to do for this tutorial. So I'm just going to kind of wiggle my mouse out of there uh, to get that away. Now in Blender 2.5, instead of hitting the space bar, you hit Shift A, and that brings up the same kind of menu. Um, we have our add meshes here, and there's a whole bunch of options uh, that we'll get into later tutorials. But you add you add add mesh. Um, and there's a whole bunch of objects. That's our familiar cube that we have right there. Um, there's planes, circle, uh, UV sphere, icosphere, tube, cone, grid, monkey, torus, and we'll get into most of these. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is kind of get out of that by moving over to the side, away from the menu, and go to top view. Now, we have our little uh, what's called a 3D cursor. Um, we can move this around by just clicking. And you see that uh, red and white kind of thing with the black crosshairs. That's our 3D cursor. Now, by moving that, uh, that designates where we're going to put uh, our object or where things are going to go in. So, I just move that a little bit to the side uh, of the cube, and now we're going to insert an object. So I'm going to hit Shift A, Add Mesh, and I'm going to add a plane. Now it looks uh, similar to this cube here because we're looking down from a top view. And so uh, when I rotate it after we've added a few objects, uh, you can see that it's actually a flat plane. We're going to go over here, click a little uh, above this cube here and our plane here. We're going to add. Uh, just a few more objects so you can see them. A uh, circle. We're going to go over here. Uh, hit the wrong button. That's Control S. Hit Control uh, Shift S. This is Shift A. We're going to go over here to UV Sphere. That's kind of like a ball. Shift A. And we're just going to add all these so we see what they look like. And each time I'm just left clicking uh, to move our 3D cursor. And shift A, tube, and we can even put some over here. Shift A, a cone, shift A, and we'll do our monkey last. So now I'm going to hit uh, Alt, I'm going to hold it, and I'm going to left click, and now we can kind of see everything in 3D instead of, instead of just a top down view. Um, we have our default cube, uh, it's just a cube, uh, and that was there when we opened Blender, uh, and then we have the objects that we added. So first you can see the plane, I can use my mouse wheel to zoom in a little bit, hit Shift Alt and left click to drag down a bit so we can kind of look at this and just holding the alt and the left uh, mouse button to 
rotate around. You can see our plane right here that we added first. Uh, we have a circle that we added. Now this has uh, doesn't have something called faces, uh, so it's not really going to show up when we do something called rendering it. I'll explain that in a second. Uh, we have our UV sphere as an ICO sphere. We have uh, this, I believe they call it a tube. Um, it's kind of a cylinder. Um, then we have our cone here. And uh, some kind of blender joke, they added in a monkey here, a monkey face too. Uh, so, right now this isn't going to do us much good uh, in showing people our work. Uh, so we do something called a uh, rendering. Basically, that's adding lighting and all those kind of stuff uh, to our scene of objects uh, so we get an image. So as you can see here, this is a light source and this is a camera. So we're going to go over to view, go over to camera, and just make sure everything's uh, there. Go up to the top, uh, view, zoom out a little bit with my middle mouse button, hit the G key, move this back a little so we include all our objects in the scene. Hit view, camera, there we go. We want to get everything that we want the camera to look at inside this dotted line here. So I'm just switching views here. So we're just going to go to uh, top, uh, maybe we went to front view, and then kind of look at our objects here. So that's the light source so kind of signing down. You can see uh, the light kind of reflecting off here. Uh, but we're going to render this off into an image. So the way we do that, we can hit F12, which is the default shortcut for rendering, or come up here to Render and click Render Image. Now, depending on your computer uh, speed and specs, um, it's going to process right here. It did it uh, quite fast. It's just a simple scene. And you can see our, our light source is up here, and it's shining down on all our objects and adding lighting and shadows and making it look uh, kind of more realistic than something you could uh, make in uh, Paint or Photoshop uh, because we have all these lightings and these shadings and stuff. And as you get uh, progressively better at Blender, uh, you can make it look even more realistic. So we have our image here, and we can just uh, hit Escape to get out of that. So those are just the basics, uh, the basic objects uh, that we have to work with in Blender. Um, you can move these around, like we said, the G keys to move things around. So can rotate these. I'm just hitting, that was the R key to rotate that, and this is the G key uh, to move this around. You can, might make this monkey head a little bit bigger. And this left, left clicking, that was the S key. And let's go up here to render. You can see how that changes. Alright, um, that's really it for this basic tutorial, just showing you the objects. Uh, before we go, I just want to uh, list off some interesting things. Uh, like always, you can go to form.nistic.com uh, if you have any questions uh, about anything. Uh, we recently just got a chat room. Um, you can just go to chat.nistic.com, uh, pop in any username you want, hit connect, and boom, you're connected to our. Uh, chat room and you can uh, talk and I'm on there all the time uh, so uh, if you're watching this tutorial um, a day or two after it was uploaded jump on chat because uh, I'll be there and there'll be a bunch of uh, people on there if you want any help with Blender or ask some questions also uh, we now have a Facebook group that's also all these links are in the video description uh, so want to join on get uh, some info currently working on a Blender 2.5 remake, uh, all those kind of statuses and updates, or just uh, to show off your work. Uh, go there if you want to show that off. So that's it for this tutorial, and I hope to see you guys uh, in the next tutorial. All right, have a good day. Bye.